Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise this morning. Father, for your goodness and your mercy and your love. You are God and you are full of compassion. Lord, and you say you're not willing that any, any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And I pray right now, Lord, for those on the street, those that are hopeless. Lord, I pray for those that are broken. Lord, you can only, you're the only one that can bind up the broken in heart. You're the only one that can bring comfort to every troubled heart. And wherever they are right now, Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to minister, minister to them on the street with drugs, wherever they are, Lord God. And I pray, Lord God, that many, many, many will turn from their wicked ways and they will turn to you for help because you are a no help in the time of trouble. Father, we thank you and we praise you. And I ask it all in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Where I was brought up, I was brought up by a mom. And she was a very strict mom. We didn't, I never see my mom put an alcoholic bottle to her head. That's the kind of home I was raised up in. I never see her put a cigarette in her mouth. I seen, I never seen no kind of substance. And I was brought up in the church from a child. It was like an Anglican church. I always, always used to read my Bible. And I knew that there was something there, but I didn't know what it was. I didn't know, I didn't know. When I, I get a certain age, I leave home. I went to London. First of all, I got married when I was young. I got married when I was 17 and a half. My mom had to sign for us to get married. But you know, the, I, I'm not complaining there because the guy, he was good to me. And we was in love. When you're young, you know, you don't know. After I leave home, he got, his friend killed him, my husband. And I leave home and I went to London so that I can work and take care of my children. That's why I have the sons now in Barbados. They're all grown men now. I use it to stay with a friend and then I can't stay with her any longer. So I call Rosie's place because somebody told me, oh, you can get a bed at Rosie's place. So I call Rosie's place, but Rosie's place didn't have any beds. And then they said to me to go to Pine Street, you know, Pine Street Inn. So I went to Pine Street Inn and I got a bed there and I stayed there for a little while till I get my apartment. I stayed there for, well, I would say over a year until I get my place because it takes time. Because I really wanted to leave, but you know something that didn't make me leave? The Holy Spirit spoke to me and then he said to me, Jean, you're going among wolves. But he said, I will keep you. And you know, when I went into Pine Street Inn, I was glad I was there because I can minister to people. I used to pray. They used to come to me and pray the prayer. And what I used it to do, I used to read my Bible. And I used it to read the Word of God. Or I would tell them, you know, I brought them to the Lord. You see, I was looking for church. And someone said to me, oh, there's a church right up there by CVS. Oh, they usually have breakfast on a Saturday morning. So then I started coming to the breakfast. I've never, never, never in all my life see people like this, homeless and 
in the streets and and drunk and I never knew that there was people so desperate. I never knew. I would like to see people come to know Jesus. When they come to know Jesus, it makes a whole lot of difference. When you become a child of God, and your life is it in Christ in God, I'm telling you, brother, you would reach out to the lowest in the pit. Even if it is to tell them, you know, Jesus loves you and he has a plan for your life. Don't care how deep in the pit you go, God can bring you out. The God that we are serving is an awesome God. And he can do anything. There is nothing that is impossible that he cannot do. He can do anything. He all knowing, he is all powerful, he can do anything. Healing the sick, raising the dead, the deaf ear, the lame walk, the blind see. He tells us, these signs shall follow them. That believe.